Well, hello, hello, my beautiful saddies. How are you, my gorgeous ones? So, thank you so much for having patience for me to get these videos out. I've had a busy, busy week, but it's been a really good week. I've gotten to meet so many people that I had met before. Um, thank you for taking me up on that offer. So, I have this special going on. Um, I am not ending it till I get all these videos out. Um, I am offering 30 minute tarot readings for $60. Um, I brought that in October and had such a good response that I thought I'd bring it back. And I was going to do it for two weeks. And then I wanted to, uh, I thought I was going to be able to get the videos out and I wasn't be able, I wasn't able to get all the videos out. So I'm extending the special till I get all the videos out and that's going to be in the next two days. So you got a couple of days till I get these videos out. Uh, if you want to go to your indigo path, com. You can order that there. So my gorgeous Saggies, we have this great, great month going on. Hello, hello. For those of you that don't know me, sorry. My name is Cindy. I am the modern day spiritual advisor. I use multiple modalities, including tarot and astrology and all kinds of things uh, to help you on your path. So let's talk about the highlights of what's going on. We're going to have this new moon in Aries. And that gorgeous ones is going to be in your, if you look at here, this is so you, Saggy. So this is your first, second, third, fourth, fifth house. So we have the new moon in Aries. We have the full moon in Scorpio, which is in your 11th house. I'm sorry, in your 12th house. Um, that's going to be going on in your 12th house. We have Mercury that's retrograde now, which is why I'm having trouble speaking. Um, and then it's going to go direct in mid uh, April. So we got about seven more, six more days for that. We have Saturn and Pluto going retrograde, and they're going to be retrograde for four months till September. We have Venus entering Gemini, which is going to be a great space to be in. We have Chiron moving out of Pisces. You can see that moving out of Pisces and into Aries. So I did a video about Chiron, the energy of Chiron, what Chiron's there to do and help you with and help you grow through. Um, I'll have it either at the end of this video, you can click on it, or in the description uh, down below in the description box, I'll have the link to it. So it's one or the other. Um, and I'm going to be doing a video about Chiron going into Aries and how that's going to affect everybody. So that should be coming up. Then we have at the end of the month, we have the, um, it'll be finishing out with Neptune and the sun. Um, doing a sextile. So something's going to come about with that. So Saggy, where is this going to be happening for you and how will you be affected? All right, so let's talk about uh, which houses are going to be activated for you. So right now your 12th house is activated and you guys know the 12th house is about the connection that you have between this world and others, between you and your higher self, between you and your past life and your future life and even your present life. Um, we'll just say all lives and uh, you and source, right? So that's that house. Um, it's the house that you want to kind of, um, you're trying to accomplish it, but you can't. You feel like you've got to accomplish this house, but you can't. Like it's not meant to be known completely, but you can get a lot further than a lot of people because you have, you're saggy. You know how to have that higher learning and bring it back down to the earth, right? So you've got your 12th house activated. You have your second house activated, which is, wow, look at you, Saggy. You got Saturn, Mars, and Pluto. There's gonna be some transformation. You got Capricorn here. That means if you've been working hard on your value, on attaining stability, on attaining finances, on attaining a home, on attaining, like whatever you consider valuable, uh, Capricorn doesn't fail. Capricorn is very methodical. Saturn rules this house. And so if you've worked hard and been working diligently, then it's going to transform you. It's going to make you into more stable, uh, feeling stable and being stable in the physical, right? Um, and so you've got the second house being transformed, being worked in. You've got the um, fourth house, one, two, three, four. Yeah. So you got your fourth house activated and you got your fifth house activated and you're going to have your sixth and your seventh a little bit activated towards the end. So, really, you've got these two houses right here activated and this house right here. So, you have your second house, 
You have your fourth house and your fifth house. And your fourth house is about your lineage, where you've come from, you know, dealing with your siblings and maybe your family. Uh, and your fifth house is about um, love affairs and what you're creating and creating from your soul, um, creating from your heart's desire. Your fourth house is where you understand that home is where the heart is. And, and you understand that no matter where you are, you can feel at home. You can be at home because home is you, right? That's what you do when you work in this house. And then the fifth house is about your creativity. It's about what comes from your heart's desire. It's about what you're trying to create in the world uh, from your heart, like those projects, those dreams, those hopes. And it has to do with the love affairs. So you can have love affairs in this house. So I won't go over. So those are the ones that are activated. That's kind of what's going on for you. So there's some things that are coming in from like your 12th house you may have been having really really prominent dreams and you may have been like waking up and you remember when you're dreaming but when you're awake you just feel better like something's been released you could be having that going on or you could be having some clarity where some things are being filtered and understood and maybe past life stuff or maybe you're seeing the future finally um yeah, Sanji, you're very psychic. So maybe you're seeing the future finally. Maybe you're like seeing it clearly finally. That could be happening with uh, Jupiter retrograde in this house of Scorpio because it's having you go deep. It's having you try to understand. It's expanding this house so that you can have your things come through that you were wanting to come through in this lifetime, right? So um, let's see. On the 11th, we have the sun and we have Pluto. So the sun is going to be in your one, two, three. So if you look here, one, two, three, four, five. So the sun in your fifth house is going to be squaring Pluto. So um, there has there's something going on with the way that you, for some of you, I feel like it's the way that you want to be free. It's the way that you want to um, have love, but it's understanding that you can't take away your value. And so Pluto and the sun going there, uh, lighting up that fourth house could help you really understand that part about yourself and really understand that there is a space where that can happen where you don't have to give everything and lose yourself um, so that's happening like on the 11th so on the 14th we have Jupiter so Jupiter and Pluto have been sextiling so there's been opportunities here this is why I say if this has been in your dreams if this has been some clearing in your dreams you may be transforming you may be I feel like a lot of you are finally settling in with who you are and what you want. That's what I'm feeling like. I'm feeling like it's not so anxious. Like on, it's so funny because on the surface, everybody sees you smiling and laughing and you're okay. But deep, deep down the side, you can have some anxiety going on and just like not know it or you know it, but nobody else knows it. So I feel like you're kind of getting resolution and resolve in this area for you where you can breathe, where you're feeling comfortable in your skin, where you're feeling comfortable in knowing that you're going to be okay, that you are okay, that you have been okay, that you can do these things. So on the 15th, Mercury goes direct. Yay, because it's wreaked havoc on my speaking. Wow. So Mercury is going to go direct here in your fourth house. So your fourth house is really lit up. This has to do with your lineage. This has to do with you and how you feel and how you feel about your home and your placement and your stability, right? And so uh, Mercury going retro being retrograde in here causes you had has caused you to rethink reorganize amend complete some things and I feel like you have I feel like you've been working diligently uh, you've probably had a lot of energy in this house and that caused you to really really like focus and do the things that you needed to do and not even think twice about it and not get too much in your head now sometimes you probably did but not the whole time and so when it goes direct all these things that you've been working on they're going to go forward. So on this, so the 17th through the 22nd, there's going to be, these are going to be really, really intense days. Okay. So because we have the new moon in Aries. So this new moon is going to go in Aries. Now what's the new moon about? Remember the new moons are about manifestation, where we're going next, what we're dreaming up, what we want to accomplish and what we want to bring forth. Right? So when it goes into Aries, it's going to give us Aries is that new beginning, that spark. And when the new moon goes in there in Aries that wants to start stuff, you're going to, all these things that you've been seeing in retrograde, all these amending things, all these ways to do things better, you're going to get the energy and you're going to get some clarity and epiphany to be able to do that um, starting like the 17th. 
Airbnb on the 15th because you start feeling the moon's energy to like two days before. Um, but on that 17th, you have the sun and the moon conjunct Uranus too. So the sun and the moon are going to be here speaking closely to Uranus. Uranus is that planet that wants to shock and awe you. It's like the tower card, but it wants to shock and awe you to liberate you so that you can feel powered and empowered so that you can feel free so that you can breathe so that you can be at peace right and that's that's the that's what Uranus wants to do and with the new moon and the sun in there sun bringing clarity the new moon bringing new manifestations new direction um, you could have something shift like the tower shift uh, to bring something to light to make you move like maybe you're going to the next level I feel like that for some of you like you've been working so diligently y'all are so sweet <laughs> You're so sweet like when I get in your energy you're so sweet because I feel you you're like um, you may complain to yourself a little bit a little bit not that much but you may complain to yourself and like keep working and keep working and keep working and you work so much at something when you focus and you really want it that you forget that <laughs> some of you I can see where you forget that you are actually gonna get the manifestation so when they come you're like oh wow <laughs> So I feel that with some of you, you're so sweet that way that you're not like complaining to the universe. You're not complaining to God. You're not complaining. You're just like doing your work. You know, you just had to get motivated to do it. Right. And so you've finally been motivated. And I feel like these things are going to open up for you in this house. This is about you. This is about your soul. This is about your life purpose. This fourth house. This is about finally come to peace, coming to peace and understanding with yourself. Okay. So on that same day, uh, we have Saturn going retrograde and it's going to be going retrograde in your second house for four months till like September 6th. So Saturn going retrograde in the house of Capricorn in your second house. So if you've been working diligently. Saturn is going to bless you. And oftentimes Saturn blesses you with way more than you thought. And this has to do with your finances, your value, your things to make you feel comfortable, to help you understand your worthiness, help you understand your value, right? And so it's going to go retrograde. And so you'll be working on that stuff for uh, the next four months. And then Chiron is going to enter Aries, like we said. So Chiron enters Aries on the 17th, I think. Yeah, it may be the 17th or 18th. So Chiron's going to be entering Aries where it's, going to, again, it's going to be going into your fourth house. So you're going to be working in that. And if you haven't seen my Chiron video, you need to watch my Chiron video too. So you understand what Chiron is and how it works in your life. Okay. Now, the 18th through the 22nd, you have Uranus. Again, it's going to go exact. So right now, so on the 17th, it's going to be talking really closely to Uranus. And then on the 18th, it's going to go exact, which means it's going to be right on top of it, which means it's going to shine something on there. Something's coming through. And this is your lineage. So this could be, like for some of you, if it's meant for you to be famous or if it's meant for you to get that big part or if it's meant for you to have that million dollars or if it's meant for you, like this comes from your lineage. This comes from your past lives. Or you don't even think of past lives. Like this comes from, like I've said this before, maybe your great, 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 great grandfather or mother came into this world and they they did so much work for humanity and so much work for everybody but they didn't reap the benefits but it's in your lineage so that when you came in in this life you were able to accept it because that's the way you wanted to do it that's the way you all agreed to do it like that's that type of stuff that could come in so I'm feeling like that's very possible for you guys um, and then the Sun enters Taurus so like on the 19th uh, the sun's going to enter Taurus. So the sun's going to move out of Uranus and it's going to enter Taurus. And that's in your fifth house. Sorry, sixth house of daily routine. And Venus is in there. And it's, Venus is going to go into Gemini. But Venus is going to, is, um, sorry, Uranus is going to be in um, the sun. Sorry, I keep saying Uranus. The sun is going into Taurus, into your sixth house. So, um, yeah, why not? one two three four five six yeah in your sixth house so this is your house of daily activity house of routine house of health right so i feel like the sun is going to be shining on something of benefit to you in your daily routine so maybe you're learning how to incorporate everything that you're doing into your daily routine and maybe you're taking better care of yourself that could be happening too so then we have saturn and pluto conjunct so saturn and pluto at this time 
Pluto's going to go retrograde on this day and Saturn's already retrograde. We've got Mars in there giving them both energy. And so they're going to be speaking very closely to each other. This is what I've been talking about for the Capricorns, but it, it happens for all of you. Just it happens in different ways. For you, it's in your second house. Something transformational is going to be going on from now till the next four months. Something very big and transformational is going to be going on in your house of value, in your finances, in your the the way that you see your life and what you've been working towards this is a really really big deal for you guys um so that should that's going to start on the 22nd that's when they're going to start speaking and they're going to figure out saturn remember saturn wants to bless you but he wants to know you're responsible to go to this phase to get to have your hopes and dreams and pluto wants to transform you wants to make this house bigger wants to give you your power back and so this has to do with your value so on the 24th, Venus is going to enter Gemini, and this is going to be in your seventh house of relationships. So you, um, the seventh house of relationships in Gemini, it's a great place to be in because this can be, and especially with your fourth and fifth house being lit up, I can see a love affair coming. I don't know that you want one because some of you have been really, really like focused on things, but um, I see an opportunity of venus to be bringing either love or money or luck in your in your seventh house and the seventh house they call it the relationship house but it's a house of boundaries it's the house where you learn how you want people to treat you and how you treat people and how you want money to treat you and how you treat money it's relationships of all sorts and so when venus comes in there it's going to bring you luck it's going to bring you money it's going to bring you love it's going to bring you beauty that's what it wants to do so congratulations that's going to be on the 24th it'll be in there for a while so you can work with it on the 29th the sun is going to trine saturn so again this uh fifth house is going to be lit up so um oh, i'm sorry it's going to be in your sixth house because the sun's going to be in your sixth house and then it's going to it's going to trine saturn so whatever you've been working on it in the second house could come through in this fifth house could come through in this um sixth house sorry could come through like your everyday life i kind of feel like some of you are owed something that's going to come through from your 12th house i don't know why i'm feeling that but that's what i'm feeling so um and then also on the 29th we have this full moon in scorpio so the full moon is about completions it's about endings it's about letting go of what no longer serves you and this if you've been having these dreams and you can't remember them and you've been feeling a little better but you don't know why or if it's getting you more agitated and you don't know why i feel like this full moon in scorpio is going to really help you solidify complete and end and let go and i and i honestly see a lot of you doing it in your sleep for some reason or in meditation for some reason like it's going to be frustrating because you can't remember some of you but some of you you can't remember but you have the feeling you know what i'm talking about saggy because you're evolved really evolved um but like all of a sudden it's going to get very clear on this full moon and you'll feel that for like two weeks right where you just feel better and you know the direction you're going it's not an it's not a should i or i'm hoping or i have belief it's like i'm i know it's a knowing okay so on that same day on the 29th um jupiter is going to conjunct the full moon so the full moon is going to be here in scorpio and it's going to conjunct the full moon so i again i feel like clarity i feel like something gets resolved i feel like some things get resolved something big and then you have neptune trining the full moon and this is going to be in your third house of communication so if you sorry in your fourth house one two three four so if you have been working and understanding and getting at peace with yourself and understanding your boundaries and knowing where you want to go and working in this and all, and all of that when it trines it gives you an opportunity neptune in pisces it's in the house of pisces that's its ruler and saturn is in its house where it rules too so you've got these big powerful powerful things going on and so i feel like you can get an opportunity in this full moon uh, if you know what Neptune, Neptune wants to expand on a global level and it wants to like dissolve boundaries. And the way that I can explain this to you is like, 
it, it wants you to let go of your identity for the cause for the bigger picture of everyone else right and so uh, public figures do this people in the in an entertainment industry actors do this where they have to give up part of their identity so that they can have this other identity with it's part of them but they have to give up some of their own personal identities for the bigger picture for the bigger understanding to be able to progress humanity forward because they do that with pop culture and and you know being a huge huge speaker right and that's what neptune is about with the piscean in there and so um i feel like for some of you if you're in the entertainment industry this could be happening for you like you could be going to the next level that may be why i'm feeling the next level so on the the 29th that's going to be happening and then we're going to end on the 30th where neptune sextiles the sun so sextiles and trines to me mean opportunity 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 i love sextiles a little bit more than trines because sextiles um give you that energy and that drive to actually to take the action take the steps to have this done where a trine you can get a little bit lethargic right and so on the 30th i can see where neptune in your fourth house and then your fifth house something's coming to light something's getting dissolved something's like there's going to be an opportunity for you to take whatever you're doing to the next level i'm really really excited for you guys um i'm happy for you guys because you guys have worked there's some things that you need to let go of and you'll be working on that with the full moon when you're letting go in pisces but i kind of feel like you're going to let go of it either in meditation or in your dreams like processing this stuff okay so my gorgeous ones let me make this bigger um if you haven't seen me on ig or uh watched my dailies you're missing out because i've been here almost every day um and so i talked about getting this new deck for you guys because i wanted you I know people, I didn't want people to think that I don't like tarot. I do like tarot. Um, and I've been wanting this deck for so, for a while now. Um, so I decided to get this deck by my great illustrator. Um, he's the one that does Terror of Dreams. So I got the Grand Deluxe and I decided to get that for you guys and myself. Because we're all in this together. So um, I did a new spread. This is the um, Grand Deluxe. And this, this is your position in April. This is your challenge and spirit's advice. This is your faded stuff, stuff that's going to come in whether you believe or not. And then that's your outcome, okay? So that's what you're moving towards. That's what the real big focus is, right? The real big thing. So in your first position here, this is you. So you have the magician. So you can see this is you sort of working it working it understanding grabbing from your uh, experiences understanding that you can really do more than you think you can do understanding that you can have your stability on your own understanding that you can stand on your own and um i'm here be a big girl be a big boy <laughs> like that's what you're understanding like um that you can have boundaries that you can have good relationships and whatever's coming at you you're like you know in the past you would have been like oh I don't want to deal with this right now okay let's move to something else right but i kind of feel like you're different right now i kind of feel like you're like yep bring it to me let's go let's go let's go let's get it done like i'm not afraid anymore that's what it is i don't feel you fearful anymore like whatever's coming to you i feel like you're grabbing from your resources and you're getting it done so congratulations saggy now in your second position this is your challenge so your challenge is this knight of swords so the knight of swords is two things offerings that come from nowhere that are out of the box that you don't know what to do with and i kind of see this in this way your challenge could be actually taking the offering and not getting too sc scattered too thin where you get sidetracked okay because you think maybe that's the one ticket but it's not the one ticket it's one of many tickets for you so i can feel like that's a challenge for you for others of you this may be a person coming into your life um, he comes from nowhere or she comes from nowhere and they cause you to be light again they cause you to have fun again they cause you to and they are a knight they're not your king and they're not your queen but they are a knight and so this knight can be very sweet but this knight can be moody and so that may be a challenge for you because you had this before where you had somebody who was moody and you're not going to do that again right 
like you're always happy and you see the better side of things and so you want somebody who can actually do that as well so that seems to be a challenge for you right now and you'll so your challenge is to know clearly is this the person is this not a person the person that I'm gonna be with right so I kind of see that in the month of April now your faded stuff because this is where you're really getting to <laughs> remember the the night comes and bows out when the king or queen comes right <clears throat> so this is your faded stuff this is your king of cups this is the girl or the guy look how beautiful they are look how beautiful he is or she is um this king of cups is very intuitive this king of cups has learned their boundaries this king of cups he's the one or she's the one that knows exactly what you're wanting and needing like and is willing and has their heart open even though they've been through a lot even though people have taken advantage of them even so they can they're ready to love they understand the depth of the heart and the depth that we can go to and they want to experience that with someone and they're ready to again and so i feel like for some of you this person's coming in i also feel like for some of you this is you turning into that like becoming that like not being jaded and really tr being able to trust someone again and really having your heart open um that's what i'm feeling like it's, it's faded that's what i'm feeling like you're getting to or that's what i feel like is coming to you okay and that's in the month of april and so the last card your outcome i feel like some of you are moving when you meet this guy or this girl if this is if this is on your path and you're meeting this guy or girl I feel it's gonna move fast like it's gonna move fast <laughs> so be careful be ready don't be careful because if you're clear you shouldn't be careful like keep your heart open be ready because it's gonna move fast that's what I feel for some of you that's what this eight of wands is but for others of you I feel like this person could be coming in to help you um, not do it for you but to help you in your stability in your career in your hopes and dreams and the things that you've been trying to accomplish i feel like they come in and help you because they're really intuitive they're really psychic they really can help you um, and they're in a position to do that and when they come in i feel like they help you and it goes and you your phase goes fast that's the eight of wands but for others of you i feel like you actually might be taking a trip and meet this person so a lot of you are traveling i do feel that um, it could be over water um, or it could not I am seeing a lot of over water though so um it looks like by the end saggy it's time for you to travel again and it looks like you'll be doing that and this is what you'll be working with like this and this okay but you're here so you're in a good place all right my gorgeous ones have a wonderful wonderful month thank you so much again for being so patient um we have our my finally my shirts are coming out my caps and um we're going to have like iPhone cases and caps and bags and all kinds of stuff uh, that should be coming out like mid to end of next week. So visit my website. Um, the classes will be starting soon where I'm going to teach tarot. I'm going to teach astrology. I'm going to teach the laws of the universe and how to move things with your mind. All right, gorgeous ones. I love you, love you, love you. Please be sure to like, share and subscribe. Bye.